to offer by some of our urology vendors. I'm here at the Arizona State Urologic Society meeting in Scottsdale today, and I'm very excited to talk about a few products from Coloplast, one of our sponsors at this meeting. I have no financial interest in this company. I just use some of their products. I just figured if I find it helpful, you probably will find some value in using some of the, or looking at least looking at some of their products. I'm here with uh, Matt Perry, and uh, no, not not the TV star. Is it a Matt, Matt Perry TV yeah, star? Sorry, guys. Anyway, he's my local rep here, and we're going to talk about a few items. Uh, let's talk about first things first. I have been using urethral access sheets for a while, and I've been using the Cook access sheet because it requires only a single wire to gain access and also to d deploy the access sheet. Now. I've recently started using the Retrace by Coloplast. Uh, tell us a little bit more about this and, and why, why, what do you think, why did I start using this instead of the, uh, the uh, Cook product? It's a good question. So Retrace is fantastic. It's a single wire system as well. Um, there's no ramp, so your, your wire is going to run in through the distal tip and out the eyelet. It's going to be hard to see on video, but it just runs out with a simple bend of the device itself. And your distal tip here is 51 millimeters. I think uh, most of their access sheets are about 20. So this is a hydrophilic tip, acts more like a dilator. So, so you're saying this is this part right here is longer. It is longer, yes. So it makes it a little easier to insert. Um, and then additionally on the back, there's no need for dual lumen. You can just put your philosophy right through here. Uh, so we're saving money on a second wire and also um, a dual lumen if you're either short of them or um, you just want to save some money, which is always good for everybody. Um, this comes in four lengths and four different, um, two different. French widths. So two different diameters and then four uh, different lengths as yep. well. Yeah. So I, I personally use only the shorter length because uh, if I if I can't get the access sheet all the way up in the proximal ureter, then I've got a whole bunch dangling outside of the patient. It's it's a, it's a much of a much more of a hassle to manipulate the scope through that thing that is hanging outside the patient. So I use the shorter sheet. And if I figure, I figure if I can get it into the distal and the mid ureter, uh, the the rest of the way is fairly easy, less muscular in the ureter. What what I like about this is that there's no white introducer right here, uh, unlike the uh, Cook product. I, so often, you know, I'm not the person opening the package, and the OR staff is the one who has to open the package and now there are two pieces, well three actually if you can consider the, the stylet, the inner stylet, but basically two components, this thing and also the introducer. Often the introducer is left in package or accidentally dropped mm -hmm. and then you have to end up opening another package because there's no re introducer that is packed separately so that's a lot of waste and less efficient. I'm huge on efficiency in the in and out, out of the operating room Th that, that device requires that I use a, a separate thing to get the wire in here and uh, it's subject to loss and it's just not as not as efficient. So mm -hmm. having this a little bit longer here, you know, you just get the wire through and then you bend it and then you can get the wire out. I don't need that introducer. It just saves a lot more time. And as far as the uh, axial rigidity and being, being able to get this up in the ureter, I found very little difference between this and what, I, what I've been using. Something else you mentioned, you can, you know, for most urologists, we're introducing that first wire using a five French urethral access sheath or not a five French urethral catheter or uh, something else, but you can just put this through, if you can, through the scope and then get the wire back here yep. and then get the wire here into the uh, collecting system, into the ureter, into the collecting system. So that saves, that saves uh, time and energy and you don't have to open up something else, which saves money. Yep. You can also shoot a retrograde through this lure lock yeah. right here. Yeah. So, because we, we do see a lot of people, a lot of physicians are using like a dual lumen catheter, and even if you don't see a stone in the kidney, then you introduce an access sheath in a in a scope anyway. So it's almost like you're saying just more efficient. If you're going to go to an access sheath 100 percent of the time, just start with this. Use your philosophy, um, and just go from there. Just quicker. Yeah. So if I'm dealing with a stone or a bunch of stones in the kidney, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna deploy the, the access sheath. I might as well shoot the retrograde using this instead of opening up something else and using something else. Yeah. So super uh, super efficient, much more efficient. All right. Uh, let's talk about something else. Uh, catheter. Let's talk about this catheter. X flow. Ca you, a lot of you may think, oh, a catheter is a catheter. Who cares, right? But this is something new that I started using, which I absolutely love. Uh, after a TURP, 
we're all looking for that three-way magic catheter so that you can irrigate and uh, most importantly you, you want to easily place the catheter so tell us a little bit more about this uh, X-Flow. So X-Flow is a, a three-way high-performance silicone catheter so it's latex free and the, uh, the tip is hydrophilic. It comes in uh, four different tip sizes. Uh, we call it a Defour. Um, this is the one that's most used. It's just about the same as Cuvée. Um, and then there's straight and two others. And then um, you're. I'm always big on efficiency. So, uh, as always, if you. Have